boy, what a time for the engines to cock out. Come on, we'll never catch up with that sub. Okay, okay, take it easy, you guys. Anybody can get this bucket going again, it's Tinker. Right. He's kept us running with chicken wire and shoelaces. And don't forget the bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, I'll like it back when you're finished. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, what's wrong with the engines, Tinker? What is it? Well, with luck, I think I can get it going again, but that's about all. Well, that does it. Willie. Make a signal to the rest of the squadron. Tell them we're heading back to the base, will you? Hey, will someone lend me a belt? I got to splice it for the generator. Yeah, 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 take mine. Oh, well, wait, Skip. Here, I volunteer. After all, you got a lot more to lose than I do. What? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> oh, gone it. I hate to flake out on a mission. Well, you've been running these engines on borrowed time. They need a complete overhaul. Hey, lovely. That leaves a week's liberty in New Caledonia where we restore the old gizmo to our beloved bundle of bolts. Yeah. Well, I think I got it patched up, Skip, so we can get back to the base. All I need is one more thing. What's that? Someone with moxie enough to step on the starter. <laughs> hey, Chris T. Turn her over. Hi, Skip. <laughs> Blanket. But don't forget, we have to get back to base yet, and there's an enemy sub working out there somewhere. <laughs> Better hang on, there, Chuck. Those bitches go to half mass. The enemy thinks we're surrendering. <laughs> hey, Christy, head up for the barn. as soon as he gets back. Yes, sir. Come back here. Where are you going? Well, you just asked me oh, to go out and get some... I had a letter from Admiral Stanley. Oh? He's chewing me out. You remember the last time he was here? I gave him two bottles of wine from my private stock. Oh, yes, sir. I even remember the kind of wine it was, sir. It was your 20-year-old tawny port, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, when he opened the bottles, it was 30-day-old diesel oil. <laughs> Took an hour to pump them out. They had to... <laughs> Diesel oil, sir? And you think Commander McHale did that, sir? It wasn't Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> Orphan Annie, you say some very oh, funny things. Oh, shut up. Very funny things. I tell you, I would sell my soul to get rid of that man. But I can never prove anything against him. He is so sneaky that I can never prove anything. If he would disobey a direct order, if his crew would mutiny, I mean really mutiny, not just act like it. <laughs> the father would fall out of his boat. Ah, that's the stuff the dreams are made of. What's that? It's McHale's boat, sir. Seems to be having engine trouble. Oh, Carpenter, tell me that that's not a mirage. Tell me that that boat is really out of commission. <laughs> Well, sir, you Never you mind. Get out of here. Tell me to report it, Mike. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Come in the back way, sir. You said you wanted to see me in a hurry. Oh, uh, yes, Commander. Yes, yes. I um, I couldn't help overhearing your boat, Commander. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Sounded in pretty bad shape. Oh, that's right, sir. But I think we can patch her up enough to go down to New Caledonia for some repairs, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, no, no, Mikhail. I'm notifying Fleet Con to send out a materiel officer, and he'll certify your boat as permanently out of commission. The old 73? Oh, you mean you're sending for a replacement for us, is that right, sir? Oh, I'm surprised at you, Mikhail. 
Why, no, you know, it took eight months to get our last replacements, and I couldn't possibly keep the greatest combat crew in the South Pacific out of action for eight months, could I? Oh, no. Why, Washington would think that I was throwing the war. Captain, I have the strangest feeling you're trying to tell me something. Oh, I am, McCann. Oh, I am. And it's a real grabber. Grabber, sir? Uh-huh. I'm shipping you out. I'm transferring you back to Fleetcom for reassignment. Reassignment? You mean split us up? Oh, let's just say that we're going to share the wealth. <laughs> Split up? You mean the whole crew? We can't do that. He's got four stripes as he can. That ain't a dirty carpet bag and deal. After all we've been through together. All of a sudden, it's a lousy war. Well, what's going to happen to me? Not many PT boats to one Japanese cook. You can always go hide in the hills, Fuji. What about me? I wouldn't know how to serve under any other skipper. <laughs> you know something? I'm ashamed of you boys. Here you are, the fightingest PT crew afloat. And you're ready to let the captain scuttle you without a fight. I say let's fight back. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> what are we going to fight back? What are we going to do? Ross, the only way to beat this rap is to get the 73 running again before that material officer gets here. Yeah, but Skip, where are we going to lift any engine parts? All the other boats are out after the sub. Oh, you poor little boy. Have you all forgotten how to improvise? Remember the time Tinker here needed that small gear and we liberated it from the captain's ice cream freezer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And when the captain turned around, he ended up knee-deep in tutti fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what we'll do. McHale's Marauders strike again! I've checked the entire base, sir. Everything's quiet. Too quiet, Carpenter. That's what I'm worried about. Well, but why, sir? McHale and his crew are all over on their island. I haven't heard peep one out of them. Yeah, well, they're not going to take this lying down. You can be sure of that. Oh, it's warm tonight, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir. What is this? The Coney Island Funhouse? Something must have happened to the electric generator. Well, don't just stand there and do something about it. Yes, sir. Come on, minute. Have a bill in there. Huh. Hey, that, that electric generator, that's run by a gasoline motor, isn't it? Yes, sir. That miserable Mikhail. <laughs> Get me my gig. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, Captain. Uh, whatever you're doing here, sir. All right, Mikhail. This time I'm way ahead of you and your highwaymen. Oh? I'm going to have you start your engines. And if they run like I'm sure they're going to run, then you can just keep them running all the way to Leavenworth. Leavenworth? <laughs> well, beg your pardon, sir, but that's actually impossible. You see, Leavenworth is in Kansas. In order for us to get there, we'd all have to go by train. That's it. <laughs> you just stand there, and if you so much as breathe, I'll have your gold bar. <laughs> All right, X Commander, start your engines. Hey, start the engines. <laughs> She's bleeding her poor little heart out. Well, you haven't heard the end of this. Now stop that infernal racket! Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Stop that infernal racket! Uh, infernal racket, stop, sir. Hey, get out! Get out of my way. Oh, 99, Captain, 99. Oh, you did just great. You made the switch just in time. Now, what else is on the list? Small ring and pinion gear. Small? Groover, small ring and pinion gear. No trouble, sir. <laughs> Chuck, 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 come up, boy. Hey. Hey, hey, you better stop it. You, you better stop listening to the captain, boy. You need air. Come on. <laughs> come on, give me air. What's going on in there? What? 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 Well, I don't. I don't know, sir. It. Uh, it just started. What's the matter with that thing? Well, there's, there's something wrong with the gear, sir. Instead of washing the clothes, it's chopping them. <laughs> This ring gear, I V-wed. 
Now get that coffee pot twerking, will you? Yes, dear. <laughs> hey, Skip. It's the base calling. Oh. Uh, Mikhail here. And this is Captain Binghamton. Start your engines. Answer, Parker. Start those engines. Aye, aye, sir. Quartermaster, start the engines. Uh, quartermaster, starting engines, sir. Start, uh, start your engines. <laughs> You cracked the ring gear. Butterfingers? Don't make such a federal case out of it. None of these high set parts are working. We're dead, Skip. Well, I guess we've had it, fellas. Only a miracle could save us now. Hey, Skipper. One of our PT boats is coming in. We're away. Two points off port bow. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That'd be, that'd be two points off starboard bow. No, it's not two points. It's only about a... Well, about a point and a half. Well, be a point and a quarter. Oh, I'll stop it with the points already. <laughs> PT-211. That's a brand new boat. Oh, my mistake, Skip. Must be a replacement. Well, no, no, that's it, Chuck. That's our miracle. We're off the hook. We are? We're well, certainly like a leaping tuna, man. Ha, the captain can't ship us out without a replacement. And that's it. Hey, that's right. Section 21, paragraph 7, article 3. Cars. Article 21, section... Uh, <laughs> if you had a paragraph on the... Uh... Oh, I don't want to stop with the articles already. Let's go over and take command of that boat before the captain scuttles it. Let's go! Hey! Commander McHale reporting, sir, ready to take command. Yes, sir, we're all ready, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, bully for both of you. Now, just what was it that you had in mind to take command of? Well, the new boat, sir. Our, our replacement. <laughs> yes, sir. Now you won't have to lose us. We're still going to be shipmates. <laughs> well, take your beady little eyes off of my boat. Your boat? Affirmative. Repeat, my boat. As CEO of this base, I am certainly entitled to my own boat if I want one, and I put in for this one over eight months ago, and I'm going to be on it tomorrow to see you off. See us off. That's right. Freeze. <laughs> Captain Evans, the materiel officer, will be here in the morning, and you and your crew will be shipping out shortly thereafter, and just to make sure that nothing interferes with our little farewell party, nothing like a sneak attack on my nice, shiny new engines. Now, hear this, Mikhail. Your whole crew is under arrest. Under arrest? You can't do that, sir. Don't interrupt. And stop popping your eyes at me. <laughs> now you just round up those hoodlums of yours, have them bring the 73 boat over here for the services in the morning, and then have them report to the brig. Us officers, too? No, 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 Parker. The way you kill a snake is you cut off its head. So you and your peerless leader will spend our last night together aboard my boat with me, where I can personally keep my eye on you. Now shove off. If I don't hear from you within an hour, you'll be hearing from my shore battery. Chip, <laughs> we had a meeting and we decided not to go down without a fight. Ah, he's still in that pitching, huh? That's right, Skip. He can't call us a snake. <laughs> you and Mr. Parker are spending the night with the captain, right? Right. Well, I've prepared a little mixture of my own. Gruber's all-purpose gimlet. Cross between a sleeping pill, a Mickey Finn, and a bash on the head with a baseball bat. And as soon as he passes out, I'll pull the heist in the engine room. Hey, but there's only one thing wrong, Tink. You're gonna be in the brig. Oh, no, I ain't. Hey, Fuji! I expect six prisoners? We give them six prisoners. Just call me Simon Tinkerbell. Just don't open your mouth. <laughs> You'll switch your huh? You know, it might just work. It's getting dark outside everything. Right, Skip. And if he doesn't fall for that Mickey, I think I can put him to sleep with hypnotism. Hypnotism? Oh, come on now. Oh, really? That's a hobby of mine. I used to do a lot of it in college. I had a college psychology professor that could put you under in 10 seconds. Ah. Uh... No, really, Skip. I'll show you. Watch. Just fix your eyes on that shiny object. Now your eyelids are getting heavy. You're going to sleep. Your, your eyelids are getting heavy. <laughs> oh, knock it off, Chuck. Hey, now listen, fellas, it might just work. But you gotta realize what's gonna happen if it doesn't. 
We're all going to spend the rest of the war in the brig. We'd rather do that than be split up, Skip. That's right. Hey, Skip. 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 Okay, okay. Those brain swabs. We'll give it a try. Come on. <laughs> hey, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Chuck. Chuck, baby. Water Island's getting heavy. <laughs> Six hours to go. I'm enjoying this, Miguel. Uh, well, uh, that makes another blitz. Uh, why, my luck continues like this. I'm gonna have to owe you my whole paycheck. Well, if my luck continues, you're gonna be sending it to me from Australia. Uh, stop that yawning. I think you're gonna make me sleepy. You're mistaken. Well, if we're gonna stay up all night, uh, might as well have some coffee. Yeah, that's a good idea. Too, sir. <laughs> Down your hatch. Ah, oh, knock it off, Mikhail. I would just as soon have a coffee break with the Borgias. Whatever do you mean, sir? Well, let me put it this way. I'm not certain that you had Lefty Louie here put something in my coffee, but I do know that to save that crew of yours, you would slip your white-haired grandmother a Mickey. I'm not even a friend of the family. Oh, well, we could be real good friends if only you drink that. Oh, sir, I resent your accusation. I know you resent it, but you don't deny it. Now play. What do you think you're doing? Uh, oh, well, well I, I, I was just ad admiring your silverware, sir. Uh, see how bright and shiny you are. Oh, it's bright and shiny. Now, would you let us play cards? I've never seen anything like him in my life. Well, well, you'll have to admit, sir, there's something fascinating about it. See the way the light hits it. That's kind of gets you, doesn't it? Yes, it makes you want to relax. Makes you sleepy. Make your eyelids sleep. You're going to sleep. You're down to your eyes. Your eyes are... Are you joking, catfish? You did it. Hey, how about that? You did it. You did it. You're a regular Sven Galley. Oh, listen, that's... You should have seen this college professor. He could put you out like that. You just dropped off for a moment. Yes, sir. No, no, you tried to hypnotize me, didn't you? No, sir, no, sir. I wouldn't. What's the matter with this man? Sit on there. Yes, sir. Any more tricks out of the two of you, and you're going to spend the night in irons. And just in case you don't believe me. Thank you. 
Welcome to Terratuba, Captain Evans. I received your signal, and I've arranged quarters for you and your cruiser. Thank you, Lieutenant. And uh, we have another hurry-up assignment, so we'll be up bright and early. I'd like to inspect the uh, 73 boat at 0700. All right, sir. And I'm sure you'll be able to get away by 0730, sir. Oh, that boat is really sick, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Captain Evans, this is Commander McHale. Hi, Mikhail. Hi, Ensign Parker, sir. Parker? I always hate to do this, McHale. I uh, know how PT men get to feel about their boats. Well, that's right, sir. Uh, I was thinking that... Uh... Oh, there'll be plenty of boats where you're going, McHale. Uh, this won't take long, Captain, right over here. Ah, uh, Quartermaster. Yes, sir? Start the engine. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Doesn't sound like mothballs to me. <laughs> hey, they sound terrific. Miguel. Hey, well, well, I guess you're pretty surprised, Captain. Well, frankly, so am I. I, I didn't think the boys could pull it off. <laughs> You reported those engines beyond repair. When did they do this, Miguel? When? 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 I had them in the brig last night, and if they did what I think they did, I'll have them back in the brig tonight for good. Well, I don't know what's going on around here, but by the sound of PT-73, it's in perfect order, which is more than I can say for you, Captain. <laughs> Putting this in my report to the Admiral. Wasting my time getting me down here on this wild goose chase? You haven't heard the last of this. Good day, gentlemen. Uh, but, 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 I... Don't take your hands off me. So your boat runs all right now, does it, huh? Carpenter, I want you to start my engines. Yes, sir. Or did you steal the starters, too? Oh, well, well, you remember I was all last night, sir? Uh, Jim Remy, remember? That's right. You still owe the skipper 13 bucks. Oh, shut up. Uh, now, about those uh, engines, Captain. Uh, Don't can't... try and beg me for mercy, Mikhail. I've got you this time. You deliberately tried to sabotage my boat, and you're going to spend the rest of this war in naval prison. Why, they're purring like kittens. <laughs> I don't see why you have to be so suspicious all the time, Captain. <laughs> well, we'll be seeing you around, sir. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Tink, hey, Tink, how'd you do it? Where'd you get the parts? Well, when uh, Bingham to foul us up with his boat, there was only one other place to go. <laughs> Evans, the material officer's boat. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Just scream. So all you got to do is stand around here playing with that gun. Dismissed. <laughs> Drink all of that. <laughs> hey, yes, Captain, what's your problem, sir? Oh, well, I'll do that right away, sir. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Toodaloo, sir. <laughs> Assignment. You have to ferry the captain over to New Caledonia. Seems the Admiral wants to see him. Ferry him? Hey, what's wrong with his own boat? He hasn't got it anymore. Captain Evans took it as his replacement. 